now we're outside the boat and let's um, take a, a look of what uh, Dragonfly 1200 has to offer, especially it will go over all the upgrades that um, were performed on this boat uh, over the last uh, uh, three years. This boat was bottom painted uh, in August of uh, 2020, so it's less than a year and this is an ablative paint so it can stay for easily for uh, uh, three years at least. Um, so let's go over some sails that we have here. So uh, Gino followed by the Jeep. So Gino, you can see, uh, you can um, also um, uh, use from the cockpit. You have those lines that will open either to the uh, port or starboard side. The furler uh, was upgraded, was uh, uh, over $2,000 uh, uh, cost of the furler upgrade. It works uh, great. You have a uh, boost spread um, in the front and uh, the anchor uh, system is a Mantus um, uh, 316 stainless steel anchor. Um, works great, a lot of gripping power. Uh, the windlass uh, is a Lumar. Uh, windlass was upgraded uh, um, a year ago. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have a um, remote system, a wireless remote system for the windlass, so you can drop the anchor uh, while you pretty much anywhere on the boat itself. So you have a nice, uh, in the bow you have a nice area, you can put some um, uh, bean bags here and uh, you have a little seat in the front. So uh, the entire uh, boat created, uh, again it's, it's a unique boat. Uh, as I mentioned it's a trimaran, it has three hulls. Or Amas, okay. On both uh, on port and uh, starboard sides, we have Amas, and what is unique about them? They are retractable. So when we um, uh, open, and that's how you're su supposed to use your boat most of the time uh, in the ocean, under way um, with using sails, the Amas are open completely. Uh, you are approaching. 27 and something feet uh, beam at 27 feet wide. It makes this boat very stable even in the rough seas. You do have two backstays that kind of balance the mast and um, each armor can be retractable and both can become only uh, 16 feet wide when you need it. When do you need to retract Amos? You retract Amos when you are about to dock in the area that only takes monohulls and have a narrow uh, docking slips. It, it's great because you know you don't have to pay uh, extra for uh, uh, for the bigger board. Uh, another scenario where you're gonna need uh, to retract Amos is when. You, it's time for you to uh, hold the boat out for service, for bottom paint. Um, uh, holding out catamaran is very expensive. This boat is uh, being hauled out like a traditional monohull. The Amos are retracted, they br uh, br uh, brought back to, uh, uh, to the hull completely. And then you have uh, two straps going in the bow and the stern of the boat. And it's relatively easy been hauled out for the service. So let's talk about um, Amos and the swing width system. Um, as you can see what I'm standing, this is the actual, uh, uh, it's a port AMA. Uh, they are used for um, uh, storage. There are uh, uh, two big hatches uh, in the front, in the back and aft of the boat. And you actually, you know, you can feed a person if necessary there. This is how big is the storage area. It's completely sealed from the water uh, with a hatch in the back. And I use it, you know, to store all the, everything that I don't need inside. There are nets right here that, you know, you can have 10 people standing there very strong. Uh, reinforced by stainless steel cables surrounding. And here's, this is the part of um, the swindle system. This is how you bring Amos uh, towards the boat to close them, and this is how you open them up. This is what they call the backstay. There are only two of these backstays, and this is what balance the mast. Um, and you can uh, uh, control them from the cabin. 
from the cockpit. What is really nice about this boat is so well designed, well thought that you can control all your uh, uh, sailing equipment, uh, uh, Amos, uh, backstays, um, uh, main sheet, everything, it, it, um, everything from uh, uh, from inside the cockpit. Um, each Emma, as I mentioned before, has a separate stern thruster. This is something I've been always uh, thinking would be a great uh, thing to have on this boat because with just a bow thruster it becomes more challenging, especially in tight spot, um, to, um, uh, to turn the boat around. With both bow and two stern thrusters, uh, you can turn the boat on one spot 360 degrees if necessary. Uh, you can uh, uh, dock and dock boat uh, just by uh, moving sideways, uh, just by using uh, both uh, uh, stern and bow thrusters at the same time. So this is that, that really makes this uh, this boat unique and extremely um, easy to sail and uh, uh, dock and undock. Okay, so let's uh, let's discuss our uh, mast, boom, rigging. Uh, rigging was upgraded uh, uh, just uh, two years ago. Both backstays and the stay where this uh, was changed uh, uh, to so you have at least 10 more years of uh, uh, worry free uh, sailing. Uh, here's the boom, and this is another uh, great uh, thing that this boat has. This is a furling system. So uh, what's the difference between the traditional sail versus the uh, inferior boom like here? All your sail is enclosed within, um, within the boom, boom itself. So in order to raise it up, drop it down, only one person is needed. Unlike uh, the traditional, we have uh, two, sometimes three people just to help to bring the sail up. Uh, the nice thing about it has a custom-made cover, so your uh, your mainsail is always protected from the sun elements and we, cre we, we create this design also uh, to help to protect, uh, to protect the sail. Uh, let's look up a little bit. You can see that uh, the radar was upgraded too. It's, it's a new uh, radar system, a wireless uh, Raymarine, which is uh, linked to uh, both MFDs, multifunctional displays. As, as I mentioned before, we have a, a redundancy of some systems here. One of those uh, redundant systems, we have uh, two uh, wind meters. One is uh, see right by the uh, uh, radar, and, the, and another one is on the top of the mast. So in case one system fails, you still have uh, control. So let's continue uh, to the cockpit. The cockpit itself is the next that I'm really proud of uh, after the electronics and the batteries that were upgraded uh, and solar panels. I always wanted to uh, see if I can uh, design something that would be the most efficient. And what, what I've seen, uh, um, and it was never actually implemented, is to have a, a roof made of uh, solar panels. So everything that was custom designed here um, we created, a, it's somewhat uh, not an ordinary shape, it's a more like rectangular shape because I used the uh, marine grade uh, solar panels, uh, creating the entire roof. You do have a uh, frame made of the 316 uh, steel, uh, very uh, well uh, designed, balanced. Um, and the roof made of actually solar panels. So as a result, um, um, we created uh, energy efficient roof that re recharges the batteries when you're underway. And at the same time, it's completely enclosed cockpit. Um, I did work long hours on um, uh, creating everything that you can uh, you have your um, your um, uh, mosquito mesh that helps to uh, decrease some of the uh, sun exposure 
as well as uh, opening. Everything is stitched, by the way, with the Teflon stitches, so they will never fall apart. Unlike in nylon stitching, uh, this one takes longer because it's more challenging to uh, to sew uh, to sew something with um, uh, with the Teflon um, uh, strings. But as a result, it's super strong and uh, everything is versatile. So when you're underway, you have to take this part out. It folds into the specially designed bag and your main sheet goes from here towards the end of the boom, right? When you are in the marina resting or uh, on anchorage, you put it here and you effectively create a fourth cabin. So here you have uh, a space that you can actually sleep two people if necessary and uh, have a complete protection from any outside elements including sun uh, again it was well designed you have opening everywhere for if you if you need more uh, more air coming through i did add hedge right here on the top you can open this part have a, a mesh if you if necessary uh, you can uh, if you have uh, areas with mosquitoes you can open your um, your strata glass by the way this is all strata glass vinyl scratch resistant you can open them have fresh air coming in less mosquitoes okay so this is something that really really unique for this boat i did change uh, the seat uh, one of the uh, things that was i least like on this boat is the visibility especially if we, when you're in narrow space so what i do now when i navigate narrow channel i can sit like this and i can have a perfect view of the bow of the boat when i'm docking and uh when i um more in the ocean you know it's a, it has an autopilot um steering wheel by the way was upgraded too so look at this when you need to navigate it folds and you can use the full capacity when you uh, have people around they walk through right you fold it it goes with the autopilot so you don't need to uh, to sacrifice any space behind me actually it's the, uh, the third cabin so the cockpit we're gonna call the fourth cabin and this is unique for only this boat there's nothing like this exists in the world with Dragonfly uh, 1200 uh, you have another cabin here that will uh, um, will show in just a little bit you do have a lot of storage space you have another refrigerator right below here the second refrigerator you have a space storage space locker here here all your lines can be organized inside those uh, little areas on each side in the back after the boat we do have an electrical uh, uh, grill as i mentioned before my idea was is to get rid of propane because it's a, it's not a hazard um, um, and i don't have i don't have to explain why is, uh, having a propane uh, on the boat is hazard uh, so um, uh, instead i created a huge capacity of lithium ion phosphate batteries those are the safest batteries for the marine environment and you do have close to uh, one kilowatt of the lithium ion phosphate batteries. That's just a huge capacity. And you, can, uh, you have an inverter, uh, 3000 watt uh, pure sign inverter that you can uh, run pretty much every appliance, uh, like grill. You have two ACs. I think you, need, uh, you probably need to turn uh, one of the ACs if you're running one of the uh, grills or a microwave or uh, a convec uh, or a Convection stove, actually induction stove, I'm sorry, that's called the induction stove that was installed there. So, uh, a boat comes with a fresh tank, a uh, fresh water tank of 40 gallons. You can also install a water maker. Uh, it does not have a uh, generator, uh, but there is a space for one, for the small generator. Uh, so now talking about solar capacity, solar generating capacity uh, we have a roof made of um, 
rigid solar panels and we do have a Xantrix. Those are the most uh, reliable, uh, uh, semi-flexible solar panels. Uh, I believe each one of them is uh, 210 watts and there are four of them. So they all generate 840 watts plus additional rigid panels on the roof. I think we well exceed one kilowatt capacity um, uh, for those solar panels. Um, that's why I never uh, felt we need to have an actual generator because we had a plenty of energy available between uh, um, uh, switching between shore power, solar uh, generation, and Volvo Penta that, by the way, comes with two alternators. So two alternators uh, create um, a double uh, charging capacity as well. So more about cockpit. Um, cockpit was designed and the boat itself was designed to be able to uh, handle the boat single-handed. So one person, you have all your controls come in here. You can control your Jeep, you can control your asymmetric spinnaker, you can control your main sheet. Um, you can control your uh, center board. By the way, this board uh, is equipped with a center board under the uh, main table in the cockpit that you can lower, you can raise when you have a strong uh, side wind in order to, uh, uh, to have a more stable, uh, um, to, uh, for, you know, to be able to, um, uh, uh, to sail in, uh, Pretty much any wind condition. Uh, everything was upgraded. Those are multifunctional Raymarine uh, uh, displays. You can display any data you want. You, uh, you want to have your uh, wind meter, wind direction, uh, engine data. Everything is linked. Again, um, it, it does have a diesel uh, that which was upgraded. So the diesel was actually uh, the engine was upgraded. And that's another huge thing that uh, was done to this boat. Uh, when I purchased it, it came with original old uh, Volvo 50 horsepower uh, Penta engine. I did order a, an engine from uh, Denmark, which is Volvo D275 of 2013. So it's only uh, uh, seven years old with only 750 hours on it. It's in perfect condition. It's a turbo engine, so uh, uh, the boat gained in, in additional 25 horsepower. So you can, you can cruise at eight and a half to nine knots easily, even under engine. I'm not talking about, you know, rep, uh, ramping other, uh, the RPMs. You can, uh, you can cruise at uh, 2200 RPM and you're gonna travel about eight to nine knots or even 10 knots sometimes. So as I mentioned, everything, is here you can control your entire boat uh, single-handedly you have your engine room right here below it has a newer updated uh, Volvo Penta uh, diesel uh, it does uh, we do have uh, a water heater as I mentioned it can be heated through shore power or through just running your engine when you need warm water it does come with upgraded Pura Sun system. So it's a Pura Sun system instead of having a holding tank and dealing with all these uh, uh, problems of, uh, you know, taking it, uh, emptying it and all the smell. Pura Sun system, the disinfection system, there is no holding tank, there is no smell, and it's very easy to operate. You just add a couple uh, chlorine tablets every couple months or so, and it's ready to go. Uh, it has a... Um, as I mentioned, the steering wheel, here is your helm. Same thing upgraded, multifunction Raymarine display. Um, those two uh, uh, Raymarine hybrid touch displays are linked together so you can see the same data. You can navigate either sitting in sight by using uh, your remote uh, autopilot, or you can be outside. You have your side power doubled control of your thrusters. Here's your bow thruster. You click here, you can go with the bow thruster, storm thruster right here. So this is make this boat really unique. There is nothing like this in uh, exist on any of the Dragonfly 1200 with this level of upgrades. 
uh, let's continue with our boat tour. Um, as I already mentioned, uh, originally this boat came with three cabins. There is an aft cabin right here for two person. There is a central cabin and there is a front cabin, uh, the owner's cabin. Uh, because we did close the enclosure here in the cockpit, we effectively created a fourth cabin with nine space for nine people to sleep comfortably. So let's uh, uh, take a look at our aft cabin. We have a hatch here that opens like this. So chair for the helm station can be easily removed, takes only a few seconds. So let's talk about aft cabin. Aft cabin is uh, one of the nicest things because they're very comfortable, especially when you're underway, underway in the ocean. Uh, this is the most comfortable place to sleep when you're underway because, uh, because the, it's the aft of the boat, so it's the most stable area of the boat, especially in the rough seas condition. So with my height of 5'11", I can stand in this area, right? But it has two bunk beds right here, okay? We did uh, upgrade an upholstery and made it more modern uh, and uh, more minimalistic, brighter look. You have curtains, if you have uh, uh, two different people, you have curtains that can be undone here, that give you complete privacy and creating your own uh, uh, space here. By the way, um, this cabin is connected to uh, the central AC, uh, central cabin AC, so it's really comfortable here. Even with the Florida heat, there is a, a vent that takes the, uh, the air from, um, uh, from uh, the central uh, cabin uh, AC right here. Okay, you have a shower and the hat that can be used right below here there is a hat the second hat on the boat uh, you have a night lights a lot of storage so here you have each bed below we have a storage you have storage in each of these lockers there's one two three on each side so for each person um, you can have a completely uh, separate storage if you have a uh, passengers that go this one it can be folded just like this okay and hatches three hatches so when you are underway you can have a nice breeze coming through the entire cabin right now we are in the uh, front cabin or owner's cabin uh, which is what allows you to stand up and I'm 5'11". Uh, you can see I can stand up here. Um, there's spacious uh, cabin here. You have a lot of lockers. They're all in good working condition. You have a hatch with the blind. You have more hatches here. Those are you cannot open on the side, on both sides. So what is unique about uh, this cabin, there's a lot of storage here. You can see all the lockers here. We have uh, uh, two frontal lockers uh, area that you can store stuff and two lockers right here on the side. There are smaller lockers right here that you can store your um, um, and if you're related to for, for the cabin and big lockers right in here below and you have a AC right inside there okay so we, we have our daughter here we decided to become a movie star suddenly uh, anyway um, so here we do have a bow thruster it's pretty powerful it was upgraded since uh, the original one it has a separate battery right below there so even if you somehow you lost your uh, uh, battery power in the back of the boat in the aft of the boat you still have uh, enough juice to run your bow thruster it does have enough um, it also has control uh, wireless control for uh, the windlass in the front of the boat and you can see it's pretty comfortable here 
it comes with the remote you can control your ac your another ac control is right here so you have a separate climate control in your uh, owner's cabin okay um, all the lighting was upgraded to led so leds throughout and you do have um, you can show here we do have a small lighting yeah. on the side yeah. right in yeah. here okay so um, let's go uh, with more details uh, let's continue with more details about uh, Dragonfly 1200 as you can see uh, here's the owner's cabin and I can use this part to make it a little bit larger than the Queen actually it's probably it's a V what they call the V bird and you create a very nice uh, uh, sleeping uh, area so right now we're inside the head, okay? You have a, a Raritan toilet right here, and it's kind of closed away. You have a, a locker to keep your clothes with two parts, right here and in there. Okay, you have a hatch, of course. Actually, three hatches, one on the top. There are two on the side. And you can open them for uh, ventilation, right? And here, if you can come in here. Okay, so uh, we, uh, you do have a, a, a option for shower. It comes with the water heater that can be used either of the shore power or when you run the engine, there is a heat exchange that you can warm your water and you can have an unlimited supply of uh, the hot shower when you, even when you're at the sea. Uh, as I mentioned, Cluster here, there is storage space right below the sink, right above the sink. You can have your uh, utensils and everything that, that uh, you know, what you need. Uh, let's continue with the central cabin. Central cabin is uh, probably the heart of the entire boat. You have a lot of uh, things here. Again, it's relatively small. Uh, it's comparable to uh, a medium-sized uh, monohull but everything is, was designed with uh, the Scandinavian um, uh, efficiency and uh, ergonomics. So we have a one bunk bed on my uh, starboard and we have a double sleeping area that actually converts, you can convert this area into, um, into another sleeping bed for two person, which is compared to queen size. Uh, table here actually folds like this and you can sit at least uh, six people probably seven to have a uh, dinner okay this part can also be folded it's quick you just uh, undo two brackets right here and it become becomes more spacious this way we did install a TV here it's new uh, upholstery with a new uh, vinyl and uh, pillows uh, fans right here and we do have a separate AC units we live in Florida so without an AC you cannot really survive for a long time um, we do have a heater as well on the boat that came originally with the boat uh, I was deactivated because we're not using it but it's uh, relatively uh, it's a diesel powered heater course we never had to use it same thing LED lighting was upgraded everywhere uh, in the cabin uh, new upholstery you have a lot of storage you have storage here below your uh, uh, double bed you have a storage on the uh, uh, bunk bed here you have uh, all the shelves here it's all storage right here is, is another area below uh, the seating right there we have a small AC unit but it's more than enough to keep it nice uh, let's talk about kitchen area and we show you uh, some in details because I always wanted to be independent on gas on propane right and we were able to uh, upgrade it uh, my idea was uh, I was always trying to get it um, less dependent on propane, especially when you travel uh, to the further out places like Bahamas. 
this is the not you know the best idea looking for propane additionally it, it does present a hazard ongoing because of you know possible leakage possible uh, inflammable uh, um, uh, dangers uh, using propane so I decided to remove propane from the boat instead I, I, I have uh, highly efficient electrical appliances I do have uh, a electrical grill outside I do have a microwave with grill um, and convection grill inside the boat as well as uh, a separate stove in induction stove which is induction stove considered to be the most uh, efficient energy efficient so we're able to uh, uh, to fit everything in the existing kitchen space so here's the kitchen area we have some storage for anything related we have storage for plates right behind those uh, covers right uh, it's the area with two burners induction stove it requires uh, specialized uh, um, uh, pans but it works great because you can once you remove the pan you can touch the surface without getting burned because it only heats up the uh, pan not the actual area um, we do have a convection grill with the microwave right below here they both are extremely energy efficient they draw uh, less than 1300 watt so uh, the way we use it uh, offshore i do have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter that runs off the batteries and it can power actually two appliances at the same time you can you can run either outside grill with the microwave or the induction stove with the microwave as well talking about batteries this is something that i'm really proud i was able to achieve on this boat uh, as you probably aware there are older type of batteries that could be uh, gel batteries uh, uh, basically uh, an old technology so on this boat I've upgraded everything to lithium iron phosphate it's the safest battery on the market right now and it allows you to drain it uh, there's no has no memory effects there is more uh, capacity it was a pretty um, expensive project but we have almost a uh, one kilowatt so it mean, uh, I have 300 I have 840 uh, lithium uh, amps of uh, lithium ion batteries right here uh, in the central cabin and the engine room as well as additional uh, 100 amp battery that we run our uh, bow thruster so everything is lithium iron phosphate they have a lifespan of over 10 years guaranteed to keep 80% uh, of their capacity so there's zero maintenance and they are great because you always have enough power about those batteries how do we charge the batteries and this is something also I uh, I had to learn a lot of, about electrical a lot of, about uh, lithium ion uh, phosphate chargers and everything is being powered with a specific lithium ion phosphate charge uh, made by Victor Energy. The cool thing is that they're all Bluetooth equipped. So you can uh, uh, link your phone, your, any smartphone, and you can see what's the state of charge, what's the battery charge like, uh, everything on the phone while you're uh, underway in the ocean. Uh, there are tons of uh, solar panels and we're going to talk um, uh, separately about solar panels. So there are three ways to charge those batteries. Solar panels with a huge capacity uh, on both uh, um, AMOS, there are over 380 watts on each. So we're talking about close to 800 watts just coming from those uh, both winds. And the roof in the central cabin in the cockpit is made entirely of solar panels.
I wanted to uh, keep everything um, uh, charge power to uh, by the same company if possible. So I use Victron uh, energy chargers also uh, from the shore power. So you can use the same application to see how your batteries are charged by the shore power and also uh, by the solar power. So the nice thing, you always have your uh, battery charge all the way. You have plenty of energy at all times. And of course, uh, the third way is to uh, charge batteries when you run the engine. I did install specific lithium ion phosphate charger that will aim to charge every battery uh, close to 100%. All right, we did uh, upgrade um, uh, sync with the new uh, faucets. Uh, another nice feature, you, you do have a seawater faucet right here that um, is nice when you, you wanna save your water when you're underway. You can wash your dishes with the seawater and then rinse them with the fresh water coming out of your fresh water tank. Okay, so you have two options. This is for the seawater this one for the fresh water. Okay, now let's talk about navigation uh, table. Okay, this is the original navigation table that uh, this boat was designed with. And when we got it three years ago, it had an old, outdated uh, electronics that were no longer supported. So everything was outdated. This boat was upgraded entirely with the most recent uh, uh, Raymarine electronics so what you see now is actually the similar for any boat that been produced in the last several years now let's talk about what we have here so this is the original electrical panel that came with the boat you can control uh, your lighting outside you can, you can uh, your uh, salt uh, uh, or fresh water pump and this kind of thing we have uh, uh, gauges for uh, uh, for your diesel 40 gallon tank you have a water tank right here for the fresh water. And let's talk about uh, electronics. So um, a boat comes with a Raymarine Hybrid Touch 10 inch uh, multifunctional display that all interlinks. So everything, all electronics are networked. So um, when you have your wind meter, everything is displayed on MFD. When you have um, uh, let's say uh, this is the AS uh, system uh, VHF radio but in addition to AS uh, receiver you have an AS transponder so that means that when you're underway you can see every boat equipped with uh, uh, automatic uh, identification system or AS system and they can see you it, it's a great uh, sense of safety this boat comes with the most recent uh, Raymarine uh, wireless uh, uh, radar. So you can use both radar and AAS when you navigate at night. So you can uh, uh, see any obstacles or any dangers. That's the most dangerous time to navigate. Um, I did equip this boat with a new windlass. This is the Maxwell remote control. So you can drop your anchor anywhere on the boat using the wireless uh, remote you do have a wireless uh, standard, uh, controller for your um, autopilot so this raymarine you can when you underway in the ocean you can control your autopilot you can change the course uh, being anywhere on the boat you do have uh, again we did create it as being a, an ocean a real ocean cruiser so you have some redundancy in the system so here i did have a wind meter which is a separate uh, we have two wind meters uh, so you can see um, uh, direction and the speed uh, condition in case some for some reason one fails you have a redundant system right here so it's a separate uh, wind meter uh, I even equip uh, this part it's called uh, a, a Garmin GNT 10 if you do have a Garmin watch like I do like any part any Garmin smart watch uh, you can connect it, you can link it to uh, this system, uh, to the Garmin GNT10, and you can get all your data about 
where your boat is heading, what's the wind condition, what's your speed, what's your um, clearance, how, you know, how much depth be be below the hole you have. You can uh, display in your smartwatch. That's pretty cool because you can be anywhere. You can be at the bow of the boat, at the stern of the boat, on the side, winds, and you can see all your data displayed right on your smartwatch. So as you can see, I love uh, all the recent electronics. And uh, that's what I did for the last three years, uh, extensively upgrading this boat with the most recent stuff. Additionally, this is how you control your thrusters. So this boat originally came with the bow thruster that you're able to control only the bow. I did upgrade this boat with two stern thrusters. Those called the extern trust thrusters made by Imtra. They are located on the both Amos, both wings. And what you have to do, you know, you can control those thrusters either from your cockpit or anywhere on the boat. It's genius because it's a big boat. When you dock in, for example, right, you can use this remote to, if you single-handed, like I frequently do, you want to dock the boat, you press this two bottom and you can hear that it will be moved to the left. Here to the left, both stern thruster and bow thruster activated. If you want to turn your boat 180 degrees, 360 degrees, you, you press one button here and, and this, this stands for, the, for your stern thruster activation. And your boat will turn 360 degrees in each direction that you want. This is really make a huge difference when you uh, uh, when you dock in, when you're going through narrow channels like here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and that, that's the best thing I did for this boat, honestly, because I was able now to go anywhere I want and have a confidence that, you know, and less anxiety when you, uh, when you try to control. It's a big boat. It's a white, it's a almost 28 uh, beam when, when the, um, the Amos are open, right? Something I didn't explain, and you, but you probably know what, what, what the Dragonfly 1200. It's very unique. It's a trimaran, but you can fold the Amos, the winds, and bring it really close to the hole, so it becomes like a monohull. So if you, if you, if you want to get to marina that only accepts small space slips, you can become a monohull when you need it. Or if you have to uh, to haul it, this boat out for the service, it's very expensive to uh, to haul out catamaran or trimaran because then you need specific uh, 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 lifters. And here you could, uh, you pretty much you haul it out just a regular monohull that saves on the cost as well. Uh, so you can save cost of uh, docking in the marina. You can save cost on uh, hauling this boat out. Or if you ever uh, get through the narrow places, you bring those Amos, you close them, and you can uh, and, and you can act like a monohull when you need it. So what else is here? I already mentioned the AAS uh, transponder and receiver. Uh, we did discuss uh, everything is interlinked. Uh, we do have a refrigerator in um, in the same area, and it's one of the two refrigerators you have on the boat. Another one is in the cockpit. Uh, this refrigerator was updated about a year ago. It works really nice, very convenient uh, to be used. Where I'm sitting, uh, it's another storage area. There's plenty of storage on this boat. That's what is important to realize. When you, when you want to uh, take a longer trip, you can bring enough food, you can br bring enough supplies to sustain you for for some time uh, for you and your family as well. Important to uh, mention also, this boat is very comfortable. Unlike a monohull that will be sort of, you know, um, if you have some uh, tendency to have a seasickness, it's not the best boat for you to be on. With, um, with a trimaran, it's stable and um, even in the rough seas, you still gonna remain pretty comfortable. 
So in the navigation area, you do have uh, storage right below here. You have uh, your, uh, your kitchen supplies uh, that can be stored in those uh, um, uh, drawers right here. And you have another large uh, space is right here. I keep my instruments there. You have plenty of uh, um, uh, hatches. You can open them, you know, because I do have an AC here. There is no need. Uh, but when you uh, underway, obviously you cannot use the AC. Uh, you, can, uh, you can open both sides and have a fresh air coming in. So again, with any questions, uh, you do have a, a phone number uh, you can call. It's better to email with any questions regarding the boat. This boat was uh, chartered uh, only for daily charters with the captain. It was very gentle to use over the last couple of years. Um, not more than one charter uh, per week. And again, it was uh, daily charters with the captain. And by the way, we, uh, if you were, will be interested in acquiring a boat along with the charter company, which was already all set on the web, Facebook, Instagram pages, and you just need to have some uh, idea about marketing, you can continue with, uh, with the charter company as well. Thanks for watching the video. Any questions, please email to the address provided.